rappers, the miscreants, losers, and riffraff, the unwashed and the unloved, don't take it completely seriously. I don't mean it completely literally. We just call them tonight's worst persons in the world. Except tonight. The bronze to out, uh, Jeremy Barfield, the outfielder turning pitcher in the Oakland A's system, son of former big leaguer Jesse Barfield, brother of former Indian second baseman Josh Barfield. His organization today traded our friend Brett Anderson to Colorado for pitching prospects Drew Pomerantz and Chris Jensen. Mr. Barfield decided to greet his new organization mate on Twitter, at Barfield Rage. Welcome aboard, at Drew Pomerantz. I hope you like amazing fans and raw sewage. So what's wrong with that? Given the history of raw sewage in the Oakland Coliseum, O.co, nothing actually. This was just a good place to put it in the show and gave me a chance to wish Brett Anderson all good things in Denver. Our runner-up, reliever Jonathan Papelbon of the Phillies, not so lucky. Caught in public supposedly wearing a horrific Christmas sweater with his wife <laughs> tweeting a picture of it. But how bad could it really be? I mean, it couldn't really be. Ah! 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 It, it's not so. Ah! Ah! It matches her skirt! Now you know why the Phillies are trying to trade him. And why there are no takers. That sweater. That sweater and the three years and 39 million remaining on his contract. Ah! 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 But our winner, Yildirim Demiroren, the president of the Turkish Football Federation. His group is reportedly ready to fine two of its league's imports for what they wore under their jerseys during matches last Friday. Undershirts, honoring Nelson Mandela, who had just died the day before. Didier Drogba and Emmanuel Ibuye, natives of Ivory Coast who play for the Turkish power Galatasaray, followed their two-zip victory at home by taking off their kit and revealing the tributes. After the game this was, not during it, afterwards. Drogba says he's not too worried about the punishment, he'd do it again. Oddly, somebody in the Turkish government is making sense about this. The sports minister, Swat Kilish, he urged the Federation to reconsider. I don't find it a healthy choice in terms of Turkey's image abroad and the two footballers' freedom of expression. But the Turkish Football Federation is nuts. Earlier in the month, it punished two native players for wearing shirts which honored Kemal Ataturk. If you're not Turkish nor a student of 20th century history, Ataturk pretty much founded modern Turkey, kind of by himself. It's as if baseball or the NFL find somebody for wearing a shirt honoring George Washington. Well, wait, they, they'd probably do that. Yildirim Dimareren, the president of the Turkish Football Federation, training tomorrow's MLB and NFL executives today. You have got to be kidding about this, right? Today's worst person in the sports world.